Last week, we finally completed the final section of wall forms for our A-frame edition. Thank goodness, this is our last day of forming. With only the two of us doing the job, it's been months of excavating footer pours, installing rebar, pouring a pad, and forming up footer walls to complete the first step in phase two of our home build. We're ready to build a house. That's the plus side. Today, we pour concrete and prepare for the next big step of our home build. That's absolutely perfect right there. First time, you know? If you guys haven't noticed, today's concrete day. It's a cool, brisk 30 degrees. It's gonna warm up a little bit today. And uh, like usual on concrete day, we're not done yet, so we got a lot still to do this morning. I gotta cut a few things down to get a few more things supported. And while I'm doing all that stuff, Aaron's gonna be taking care of the farm chores, and we have a couple hours, and we should get it done. They're getting big. Yes, they are. They're about ready to go out to pasture. Yep, and then they missed this little penguin. Ah, penguin, penguin, penguin. Penguin. <laughs> He's ready for a snack. Penguin. Silly girl. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Are you ready? Yep, time for some brush padding because it's getting some spring. Right? Yep, spring cleaning. Yep. I got that piece scabbed in and done. Now to go get that one scabbed in and everything is completely done. All I got to do is bracing, rebar, and some rods and we're good to go, ready for concrete. So we just got the call from the concrete company. They're loading up the trucks and on their way over here. We are second round, so they are on time. We are not on time. We're way behind. As usual, but that's okay. We're gonna make it happen. We need to get some rebar down in the ground in the foundation for some bracing to hopefully prevent blowouts. We've got a couple more spots to patch. I'm gonna try and get in there and blow out any remaining nonsense that's in the footer. And then I think we got it covered. Hopefully. <laughs> Believe it or not, it has been 18 months since we switched out our old mattress for our Helix mattress. And let me tell you what an upgrade that's been. Helix is the sponsor of today's video, and to be honest, after we fell in love with our Helix mattress, we added them to our kids' bedrooms and also to all of our guest house beds, and we even switched our family members over. Helix has premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped to your door for free within the U.S. Everyone is different, and Helix knows that, which is why they made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to get the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's a perfect compromise for both of you. Josh and I are both side and stomach sleepers, so we were matched with their Midnight Lux mattress. It's a medium feel mattress and just the perfect fit for mm -hmm. us to where we're no longer tossing and turning when we get in bed at night. We're actually falling asleep staying asleep and waking up the next day well rested. Even if Frank is snoring all night long. <laughs> he likes the mattress too. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried before, Helix gives you a 100 night sleep trial to make sure that you love it. Plus there's a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part is it comes all rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. We love our Helix mattress and think that you would too. So if you're looking for a new mattress, check out Helix. Their Memorial Day sale starts on May 15th. However, you can always click our link in the description box below and go to helixsleep.com slash wildwonderful to get 
20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Now let's get back to the build. We're playing catch up and get ahead of him. Putting rods in and putting two by fours on top. I'm not gonna cut anything down. I'm gonna use my stick and get level with that. I don't got time to cut anything down. I'm gonna go ahead and put two by fours going across, screw them down, using the stick to find grade level it out and we're gonna keep on rolling. So the plan is to start on the north side of the house, which is the back corner of the safe room and work our way all the way around. That's gonna allow Josh to have enough time to stay ahead of the concrete pour and get the rest of the bracing and also the rods in. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, it's gonna be a major issue. This is a huge pour. And I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I'll stay ready. Yeah, I'll stay ahead of you, we're good. All right, just make it sure. It's a little wetter than I was hoping it would be. But I think the concrete is just about right. We don't want the concrete too wet because the more wet it is, the more it's going to fall down and want to push everything out. The heavier it is, it's going to start flowing and running and start bulging things out and pulling things apart. If it's a little bit thicker on the thick side like we have it, it's going to stack up nice and neat and uh, I don't anticipate any bulges happening. The way it's going now is looking pretty good. We are trying to get up there hard. Hey, I'm going to start going that way, getting some more bracing in. Go down and we'll just pull the hose back and finish this up. Yeah, this is a lot of pushing. I'm here. aware. I, I yeah. tried to break up a bunch, but. You did? No, you did. And I don't know what else you can really do. A lot of weight. But like I said, if we can, we'll play your cards in our favor. I agree. He's going to fill it up almost to the halfway point. We'll start going back that way and we'll pull back and finish it off because it's a lot of concrete right there. That was actually supposed to be two different walls with a small gap in the middle. No reason to do that, we've made for the entire thing of concrete. Good. That's what I want to hear. Can you grab the anchor bolts that are in front of the white trailer? Yeah. So much you can the first concrete truck is headed out. The second concrete truck is pulling in. We have 17 yards of concrete going around in here. So uh, one weak spot. <laughs> right there. That two by four right there is about to snap. But I think we're going to be OK. We're taking it easy. We're pouring kind of slow and I think we're gonna make it through. You feeling lucky today? Nothing, nothing major so far. Now it's time to start going through and verifying the proper elevation. Dallas is gonna leave us a little pile of concrete just in case we do have a low spot here or there. And if we do, we'll take that concrete, put it on top, work it in so it's a nice smooth elevation. Woof, stop. A hell of a day, dude. Yeah. We're ready, girl. All right. 
We're ready. We weren't ready when we moved out here either. Yeah. But we did it anyway. It's been an absolutely brutal day. Not being ready, like really put us in a tight spot and made things yeah. a lot more difficult than they needed to be. <laughs> I, could, I could barely keep up with them. Uh, pumping fast is going, is, their style is going well. On the bright side, we didn't have any blowouts. Yes. The rebar going down to the footer held everything together so it didn't go like this. But uh, yeah, like we just didn't have time. Like, usually we'd have cut the plow down on the front side. It would have been easier to go off of that plane right there to get the elevation of the slab. Just didn't have time. Not having it yeah. cut down to the elevation, I think, is what made this such a tough pour. And but plus, we weren't done though either. <laughs> Putting supports in, um, rods through there, and just doing everything while we're pumping. Just about two more hours, you know. But we made it happen. We've got all of the anchor bolts mm -hmm. in going around, and uh... it's good. We're ready to build a house. That's the plus side. So in a few days, we'll pour everything down. We got waterproof in, and then boom, we backfill, and we boom go up. I need a nap. <laughs> Me too. I'm exhausted. Like we've been we've been pulling all nighters to cafe, doing concrete, forming, framing, electric. We do it all, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I'm, I'm sore. sore right now. I'm exhausted. I'm not so cute for me. One day you're gonna be a healthy grown up girl. Straight. We gotta push it straight down here. One, two, push! Lily, you all got crashed into that pancake. No, Lily knows what to do. She's not a pancake. Pivot! <laughs> So granted, we're not quite ready to hang these beauties yet, but no. it was fun to just put them in place. And see they look what good. Look like. Yeah, I know. We got we got paint and stain a few things first, and then put it up. It's been a long day coming. <laughs> we talked about about doing stuff like this, but almost five years ago when we moved here. Yeah, and then we got around to it about eight months ago, and then now we're finishing it eight months later. Yes, and hopefully get some today. They're not gonna get hung today. They got no. You're right. It's, it's gotta dry. It's gotta dry. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's been raining for a week straight, guys. So, but it hasn't been raining for five years straight. <laughs> since we, started this. we have two 12 foot sliders or galvanized right now. We're gonna paint them black. We're gonna do the same exact process we did up at the A frame. We put those sliders up, it turned out great up there. So, I'm expecting the same exact result down here. Okay, I think that's all rain right there. Where? Let's start pouring on us. Are you serious? Yeah, it's all rain right there. It's all. Y'all can see that right there? About a half block away, it's all rain. We need to decide. This is crazy, man. Josh, we live in the country. There's no blocks here. Huh? It's about That's one fine. mountain pump away. That's fine. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> the universe wants the barn to stay the way it was. Get it in. Come on. Back on. We got it all done, it's all painted. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry before we install it, but now it's time for the real fun. That's called tearing down concrete forms to see our beautiful work. Boop, boop. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, girl, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, good 
Shame to yourself, and nobody should ever let you use a screw gun again. Why? The, the distance that you sunk these screws in. You it's like, was that necessary? Like, really? You know what happened? The wicked yeah, you panic. The wicked <laughs> swell. What? The wicked <laughs> what was that? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Gosh. Please, I wanted to hear your explanation. Gosh, <laughs> you <can't> do it. <laughs> One, two, three, go. So we have about 10 trillion screws to remove. About that, yes. <laughs> I, bought a, I, I bought a few of those massive packs. I burnt them all up too. So yeah, just a few, a couple few. There's probably a couple thousand screws there. <laughs> and some good. very heavy forms. But it's not nearly as bad as when we covered the bottom of shale. <laughs> yeah, see, we're just prying them up and coming out past rebar. It's not a big deal. So. Yeah, just a little muscle. Get a little muscle, girl. We're going to be done in no time. Yeah, you can thank me later. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Josh, I can find the hole better than you can. <laughs> three, two, one, go. One, two, three. It's a water law, girl. Whoops, that rain just won't quit, girl. I know it won't. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Lily. Come on, Lily. a nice spot to lay your head to. Keep you warm. The mess of hay that you have made. It's pouring. What are you doing? Oh, we're getting Lily undercover because it's pouring. Lily. We just got a text and it's uh, Deanna Cream Brulee Donuts. Look That's at this. That's a video. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's a real deal hole if you're there. Straight up. Yeah. Game over. Knockout. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and head over to Deanna's now since it's raining and just go get a little bit of dessert. That looks amazing. Are you kidding me? Cream brulee donuts? You gotta kid me, right? <laughs>